Janine. Good morning. Uh, I'm Carrie. I'm Janine. And we are on location here at the Passionate Home <laughs> in downtown Langley. Uh, if you're there, please, and Candace is here as well. So if you're watching, uh, thank you. Please say hello and where you're from. And as always, if you have any questions as we're going, please type them in there and um, Candace will read them out to us and then we'll answer them. Yeah. Everrox, so, Mark's on. Hello. Good morning. Gore Forrester, K Classen. Lots of friends are starting to come on. Awesome. So, losing connection, it keeps oh. just saying. Oh, are we losing connection? Um, maybe oh, move yeah. over this way. Maybe it's something in the... Uh, Hello, I'm from Langley, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us where you're from. Um, so today we are excited because we are going to talk about cottage and decorating cottage style. Mm -hmm. And what exactly does cottage style mean? And I think it kind of means something different for everyone. I think so. So before we started the video, we did a little test and we just kind of closed our eyes. So everybody who's watching, just kind of close your eyes. And when I say, let's go to the cottage, what are you visualizing? Yeah. And we definitely all visualize something different. Mm -hmm. um, I asked my husband this morning, what do you visualize? And he said, I'm out in the trees, isolated, and no one's around. And what did you say? Homey, Kenneth? family, cozy. Cozy. Slowed down. Yeah, yeah. slowed down life. Mm -hmm. And you were? I think um, just, yeah, family. I feel like I, I picture a beautiful building, kind of rustic, small, chippy white, you know, all that kind of stuff, <laughs> but with my family, for sure. Good morning to Funky no, Stan. Good morning to Mike. Yeah, good morning, Mike. <laughs> um, so I actually Googled the word cottage and what it meant. And it says, a cottage is a small, simple house, typically one near a lake or a beach. Right. So um, that is the typical answer of what a cottage is. But really, it can be anything. So we're going to show you. Happen. Yeah. Cabin is a cottage, could be, you can call it whatever you want. You can call it whatever you want. <laughs> and look at all these, so I I have some old magazines. Does anyone mm -hmm. else carry old magazines? Ooh, yeah. These are all about cottage, so um, it can mean something different. So this one's called the Cottage Journal, the Cottage Journal, one of my favorite ones. But look, French cottage. Right, so right? many different styles. So many different styles. Some are really rustic. This one here is cottage and bungalows, and as soon as you see this look, it gives you the idea of beach. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to cover three different looks mm -hmm. that you could create and call a cottage. Does that sound right? right? Yeah. Perfect. Good morning so, to Kim and Sheila. Good morning. Hi. So why don't you take it away? Okay. And it's just Janine has created this incredible look here. So. so floral cottage kind of speaks to my heart. So if it, to me, this is white and chippy paint and um, vintage fabrics with florals and, you know, shabby chic Rachel Ashwell is... I think I've got her book here. Uh, kind of that cottage style. So big peonies and pretty floral fabrics with ruffles and then slip covers and white fabrics. Um, look at the beautiful chippy paint on this old um, gate here. And then, you know, when you're painting your pieces, I think um, Annie Sloan's colors in like pinks and whites. So we've got Antoinette and Scandinavian pink and pure white. And then this piece was painted, I think pure white or old white, one of the two and then sanded back quite a bit. So it's really chippy and vintage and beautiful and we're showing like that rustic kind of time-worn. So funny you just said rustic because yeah. this is our floral, what did you call this, a floral cottage? Yeah, floral cottage. Mm -hmm. And this is really chippy and rustic, which should also go into a rustic cottage, right? which we're gonna cover in a minute as well. I think yeah, they work together. I kind of blend together, but I've just kind of pulled you know, mm -hmm. pieces. And then like, what about um, China too, right? So I don't know. Do right guys, down to the details. Do you guys right? have China in your cottage living? So, you know, I think you don't Well, even, this is a vintage piece, right? Right, yeah, so these are vintage. Mixing, yeah. yeah, little, oh, I just, ooh, these all speak to me. I love them all. <laughs> Bright designs, Krista. Hi. Good morning. So I have this, this is from home, you guys. So I have tons and tons of shabby chic linens with florals and ruffles, and I don't have this out. But why not? Like, why not create your cottage style somewhere, even just a lounger in the backyard, or if you've got a she shed, pull these things out and just make your style like known, like out in your backyard. Even. So if you're not using them, ah! right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. These, Good morning, Krista. Like, okay, I'm not a hoarder. I keep thinking back to our hoarding, our hoarding video. video. Like, oh my gosh. So don't forget, if you don't <laughs> see, we do keep all these videos from Fridays because we're here every Friday at 9.30, yeah. 9.30, yeah. yeah. And they're on IGTV or um, 
whole bunch of places. Yeah, there, so, Facebook yeah, and Instagram YouTube. and stuff. So we did have a hoarding issue, and you may have a hoarding issue. Just <laughs> I, maybe a little bit, but um, it still looks really pretty, you guys. So I think it's okay. <laughs> what I love about what Janine's collected here, and we're gonna, uh, and you will see a repeat, is yeah. color. In every cottage look that we're gonna show, you're gonna pick a color theme. So. This is again with chalk paint, you can create anything. Right. Color repeat, fabric, mm -hmm. these beautiful florals and cotton. definitely tell the story. And the mix of old and new. When I think cottage, I definitely think I'm not going to oh, I'm buying yeah. everything that matches. No. I am mixing it up. I've got yeah. a little bit of this and that. And things don't have to be perfect. Right? So definitely mm -hmm. this word just came to me too about cottage is relaxed. Oh totally. Mm -hmm. so it's got a ding in it. Right? It then goes matter. to the cottage. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. think you'd head to the store and buy both of these pillows together thinking, oh, this is going to work great. But you know what? They do. Okay. Yeah. They just what is that glow. curated collection mm. over time? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Does anyone yeah. love this look <laughs> as much as I do? Yeah. We've got Tulissi on, Maggie. Good morning. Do Cindy. Oh, Mike says seen. Carrie. No, no, no. You just cleaned out your linen closet. <laughs> 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 don't take Janine's home. <laughs> Can I just show this quickly? Lori has been making these pots for the store. How gorgeous. So there's Iron Orchid design transfers on here and They're some chalk so paint. Beautiful. She's done some um, image transfer oh, kind of stuff. Oh, someone says there's no sound. Oh, no. Um, Sorry, guys. Let us oh. know if you can hear That's us. That's my mom calling. <laughs> <laughs> last week. Can you hear us now? Somebody let us know if you can hear us. Hopefully. Hello? Not hearing Hello. back anything. Probably your mama on the phone. Anyway, we'll, um, we'll just keep going. Yeah, Krista says they're amazing. She's not saying that there's a sound issue, so I'm okay, hoping. Well, let's just okay. go. Krista, if you can't hear us, can you let us know? So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, Bright um, Designs figures it out. Yeah. Krista says I hear you fine. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Okay, thank you um, guys. Uh, what I wanted to say about these beautiful tiles is that's the other thing about cottage. Get creative. Right. And make something mm -hmm. that that tells the story of what you're creating. So in this case. It was floral, and she used the uh, iron orchid floral. Yeah, but it right. could be seaside if that's what totally. you wanted to create. Yeah, for sure. Speaking so of which, what's up? <laughs> I said, speaking of which. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of which, don't we all want to own a cottage by the water? Yes. Yeah. Crescent Beach, my dream. Right. White Rock. Mm. So again, fabric. Yeah. So you can pull this whole look together just with pillows. I mean, oh, you know, true. you've got your. Floral pillows, oh. your kind of beach pillows. Mm -hmm. When we get to rustic cottage, you'll see different pillows over there. Just helps pull the look and your art. And you were saying? Well, I was saying that again, being creative and making something that helps tell the story. Right. This could be, this little ship could be just a page out of a book that you're framing. Again, it could be in a reclaimed frame, yeah. right? And then that even if you're creating, if you don't own a cottage, you want to create a cottage bedroom, you yeah. can take these things. So a pillow, the fabric, art, something mm -hmm. that you make, and nature. So with the beach, what do you think of automatically with uh, the beach? What, what? Seashells, Shell. driftwood, yeah. sea glass. So this is just a little collection that I had just in my medicine cabinet, because I don't know why when I think of a bathroom, I think of beach, but <laughs> So there's some sea glass in here, a little shark's tooth, some shells, and that just, you know, just in my medicine cabinet with the glass door so you can see. Um, and it's just pretty little collections, right? Do you know what? Everywhere we go, we collect shells and then we put them all in one right. bag. And it is, it's like a memory. Yeah, right? mm -hmm. so totally. Um, and the other thing here was driftwood. Look at how beautiful this is. It's just a simple thing, but a piece of driftwood from the beach. Now we're not going, don't go right to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you can kind of start to see repeats, right? Like. So you can use baskets in your floral cottage or the white chippy paint in both mm -hmm. styles, that kind of thing. Actually, let's talk furniture too, yeah. because in your floral, you had that beautiful kind of French settee. Right. And here in the beach, we have kind of a, a beachy worn um, uh, table that looks right. like it was from the beach. Time worn. And again. wicker. Yeah, I think wicker definitely, when I think beach, I think wicker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the colors you chose from Annie Sloan? Yeah, so um, we pulled here cocoa and French linen, and it just kind of feels like if you look at this whole look, that cocoa and French linen really pull this look together. And then you could add like duck eggs and blues and that kind of thing, Oh, right? absolutely. Yeah. 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 Isn't that funny that we created this beach look, 
and we didn't pick blue as our major color, right? And it's that's classic. normally when customers come in, yeah. they say, I just bought a place by Crescent Beach, and then I hate them. And then, <laughs> and then they say, I want blue. But uh, this is all done in browns with a little accent of blue, yeah, right? Yeah. Which is really beautiful. Yeah. Um, again, nature, the feathers, the rocks, even just simple little rocks. And again, vintage, mix old and new. Mm -hmm. So this is like a little vintage milk jug. And um, look at how beautiful and how simple that is. Just beach stones and driftwood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so pretty. Yeah. Shelly, Nicole, Josie. Lots Are these of, good ideas? Lots of people <laughs> on. Hi, guys. You know what's interesting also is you chose a white shutter for the um, floral kind of look and then this rustic shutter. Shutters don't have to be just shutters on your no. door, right? It creates height and it's art. And it's perfect to hang all sorts of things, mm -hmm. right? So brilliant idea. I don't know if you even knew you did that. <laughs> yeah, love it. Should we move on? Moving on. Okay. Okay. So this look is more of a rustic country cottage, right? Yeah. So when we were looking at it, we kind of thought of Lori right away. Totally. Good morning, Lori. You're here. <laughs> so a cottage by the lake. Yes. Right. For sure. Rustic. The again fabric. Right, the yeah. pillow. So, kind of more burlapy linens, the get um, stripes and stuff like these. Mm -hmm. So nice, rustic. I love this. And this is more maybe little man friendly, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little, a little. I don't know if we'd want to fisherman this look pulling your floral pillow. Right. But if you were by you know, a rustic beach, you could take the the whale pillow totally. and, and yeah. just partner it with the burlap. Right. Be pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, the colors we chose for this is kind of a repeat of the colors of what is here. So these are vintage um, trunks, which are great to dual as storage yes. and end table um, that, to put all your magazines in. Uh, <laughs> right. And we've got Chateau Grey Olive and Emperor Silk here for, for Annie Sloan. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Hi to Jennifer, Carlings. And I think what makes it interesting is all the little vintage pieces, right? Yeah. So again, the mix of old and new. Yeah. Year. Another shutter. Another <laughs> shutter. And look what you put on there. Um, so talking. Okay, so we talked furniture. So furniture. This is really cool to for um, in the way of furniture, fabrics, um, nature, nature. Yeah. Rocks. Here we go. This is a rock, <laughs> okay, people. And we've taken an iron orchid. And when we, I say we, we mean Lori. An <laughs> iron orchid image transfer of a little frog, and just this on your coffee table on a stack of books. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's beautiful. And right. again, it's not a bought item. It is created, um, and it's those little details that make a big difference to For your sure. decor. I think. Also, your games, right? Like, I think of the cottage you're going. Oh, homemade piece again. It's just like wrapping paper, framed. Sorry. Keeps popping in and out. Is it? Uh, I'm sorry, sorry if this is popping in and out for you guys. Yeah. What is it? Hopefully later when you watch it, like if you watch it on Instagram TV, what? the whole thing will be there. It won't Hopefully. be popping in and out because yeah. it's recording, right? So it should be okay. Oh. Sorry. And one thing I wanted to cover. One second. Oh. Okay. <laughs> come in. Oh. Ooh, look at this. So rustic. I'm a there. Oh, look how beautiful this is. How many is. Like, people's husbands would look at this and just be like, okay, no. Yeah. I'd be like, stop the car. Right? Stop I the car. I love it. Love yeah. it. So what, when you look at this, what do you see? Yeah. Candace. I me. see a, a bar. Put a rustic wooden top <laughs> on the top of it. Right? So wood planks, yeah. Yeah, Bottles, wood planks. Glasses. Mm -hmm. Cute. Gorgeous. Um, I see it with flowers, of course. Flower pots. Kind of maybe at my front door or back door or something. Yeah. Patio kind. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about for the, by the hot tub. Again, you could put mm. a wood top. Ah. And then these, that, you could roll towels. Oh, Love it. Yeah. 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 But I also like the idea of bar with just, you know, mm -hmm. martinis uh -huh. on it. Uh -huh. um, and it's great because it's got wheels on it. Yeah. So yeah. indoor, outdoor. And that's also good with cottages, right? Yes. If you want to just go outdoor. Yeah. You're taking things in and out. You want to create a beautiful space by... Um, by the lake or whatever. Yeah. Take a few of the things from inside out, right? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so see. yeah, some people might want to spray paint this a color, but <laughs> but please, not me. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> see, I think here's my vintage floral cottage again. So this might not even be by the water, you guys. This is just like a little space in your backyard. I'm gonna bring all those old Gorgeous. bedding pieces out in your vintage china, your you know your chairs, things. Just make this look anywhere. It's so pretty. Can I see? 
Carling says oh, yeah. very cool about the trolley. Yeah. <laughs> it is very cool. Right. <laughs> Actually, this is, the store is filled with items that you could use to create the cottage look, no yeah. matter what look you want right. to create. Mm -hmm. A lot of these things can be mixed. Yeah. Right? Totally. So, um, if you start with a really blank canvas, like um, white slip covers, right? Mm -hmm. That works with beach, that works with your rustic, that works with the vintage floral. And then you just bring in your pillows and your little accessories and you can create any look. I think the biggest thing, if I could say one thing about creating cottage or any look style is start with a color. Mm. Yeah. And repeat it. Yeah. Right? Like I would say pink yeah. or that maybe. And in this case, um, well, we've used a neutral. Yeah. Neutral. And um, well, we want mm. Yeah. Yeah. So we're perfect for cottage. So. <laughs> Whether you own one, want to own one, or just create that space, like you said, outside in your yeah. backyard, um, to relax and spend time with family. Um, it's almost like we're in play. We're isolating at home. <laughs> cottage people. <laughs> well, I want to call my house a cottage, and my kids think that's crazy, but I think it's okay. Like, I do you think, think it's okay? Can I, I call think my it's house okay. A cottage. I'm going to name it and have a sign, and it's my cottage. <laughs> well, it, what was the definition? A simple home by a body of water. Yeah. I'm thinking I could call mine a, a, a cottage because in the winter it floods in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I also live in a cottage. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, so we hope we gave you lots of ideas today mm -hmm. and we're sorry if the sound went yeah. in and out. Um, I'm, we'll technology is not our strength. Hmm. Um, but next week we are back. Yeah. What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about decorating open shelving. So whether that's a bookcase, whether it's floating shelves, um, just a little shelf in your bathroom, we're yeah. going to kind of cover it all and yeah, give you some great ideas there. The open shelves is really hot right now. You see mm -hmm. it in all the kitchens. I did it in my kitchen makeover. Right? Yeah. Uh, talk about kitchen makeover. We're almost done. Uh, <laughs> when I hurt my leg, yeah, everything funny. stopped. And then I was about to paint the last cabinet and I broke it. So uh, now I'm having it built, and, and soon I hope to show you those photos. So, um, so Maggie, next week, Maggie says create a cottage backyard. Yeah. yeah. How beautiful, yes. right? Cottage garden exactly. and all the beautiful things in there. Maybe in yeah. a couple weeks. High smiles. I'll try that and take you on a tour there. Okay. Well, yes. I did think that Janine's backyard would be a great place <laughs> to talk about dining al fresco, yeah. um, setting some beautiful tables outside in nature. So that is coming, but for next week, we're gonna talk about open shelving, open shelving. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and as a bonus, just to let you know that uh, we are celebrating our oh, 15th yeah. um, anniversary as the Passionate Home here in Langley. And today being Friday the 14th, yeah. uh, and tomorrow, you can save 15% off everything in the store, except for Sid Dickens and um, Chopping. Chopping. Yeah. So if you really love this bar card, it's <laughs> more than 50% off today. I can barely believe I'm saying this. I know. Um, Good morning, Liette. What's that? Good morning to Liette. Uh, Good morning. Oh, yay, she's watching today. <laughs> she um, actually watches all the time, but she doesn't type Catch it in. live. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, next week I'll be shelving and was there anything else you want to talk about? I think that's it. Come in for the sale. Have, let's have a great weekend. And, yeah. and also, happy birthday, Max, if you're watching. Aww. I love you. Aww. So take care and we'll see you soon. Better late than never, Liette says. We'll, <laughs> we'll make sure to watch the full show. I'm planning to come in tomorrow. Perfect. Awesome. Hey, see you then. Thanks, Carlene. Says congratulations. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.